Have you ever heard of NVIDIA's super powerful tool that is supercharging large language model applications? Well, if not, you're definitely missing out. Allow me to introduce Torch Tensor RT. Torch Tensor RT is a tool that makes PyTorch code work better on NVIDIA GPUs using Tensor RT. It fits smoothly with PyTorch and it lets you set details like precision while it's preparing. Now, the great part is, is that NVIDIA's dev team has also introduced TensorRT Large Language Model. Now, this is also another tool that can help you build RAG projects like Chat with RTX that is powered by TensorRT LM. This is completely running on local RTX Windows PCs. Now, I really want you to take a look at this demo video because it's truly amazing. people haven't actually heard of these tools by nvidia now the crazy part is is that there is no cloud costs that are incurred while you're using tensor rt llm now throughout today's video we're actually going to be exploring this further in detail by going over the capabilities showcasing how you can actually build rag projects with it and so much more so with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Tensor RT LM as well as Torch Tensor RT. Both are amazing tool sets developed by NVIDIA that optimize for various use cases in the landscape of AI. For example, Tensor RT LM can be used for creating RAG chatbots on Windows using Tensor RT LM, and Torch Tensor RT, on the other hand, can be used for optimizing PyTorch code for better performance on NVIDIA GPUs using Tensor RT. So what we're going to be doing is taking a look at both of the libraries, but we're going to first start off by taking a look at Tensor RT LM. This is an open source library that's designed for large language model inference tasks. It offers a user-friendly Python API, and this is for defining the large language model. And it's also used for building Tensor RT engines, which incorporates cutting edge optimization for efficient inference on NVIDIA GPUs. The library is providing Python and C++ plus runtimes, and this is for executing inference with the generated Tensor RT engines. Now, with Tensor RT LM, it's able to support model quantization, which is quite crucial for many of us because this is for compatibility with our PCs, GPUs, and it's reducing the memory footprint for the models we use. This feature is going to facilitate through this Tensor RT LM library, which is providing the quantization toolkit. And this is where we can see that it's able to do things where it's able to build RAG on Windows using Tensor RT's library for LM as well as Llama Index. And we saw this with the demo video at the start. It's able to do quite well and we're able to implement and build different large language model applications based off of this library. 
Now through this library, it offers various LMs and we can see the ones that are listed over here. It comes pre-equipped with the optimized model weights and this is for specific large language models. For example, they have it for Llama 2's 7 billion parameter model as well as for Code Llama and Mistral. And we can see that all of these models have their optimized model weights and this is for the specific large language models that are tailored for nvidia rtx pcs and it's available on the nvidia gpu cloud as well so this also is something that you can actually use on the cloud as well and these are basically pre-optimized models such as the llama 2 7 billion parameter model you have the llama 2 13 code llama 13 billion and the mistral 7 billion all of them are suitable for text-based applications and they can quickly be deployed for for inference task on the Windows PC that has the NVIDIA RTX GPUs. This is where it's going to be using the Tensor RTLM as a backend. Now, additionally to all of this, you can see that you as a user can have the flexibility to build Tensor RT engines for a wide range of supported models. And you can actually refer to some of the examples that they have listed over here. So you may be wondering, how do you practically use this library and how can you actually get started so you can create applications like this? Well, it's kind of easy. What you would want to do first is install the Tensor RT LM library. And this is by beginning to install and download it through this repo which i will leave a link to in the description below this is for windows so keep that in mind and it showcases the step-by-step -step process to set this library up on your system what you would want to do next is define and build your models you can utilize the easy to use python api that has been provided by tensor rt lm and this is to define and build your lms you can choose from a variety of pre-optimized models, which they have already. And this is something that I would already recommend you should use, or you can create your own based on your specific requirements. Your next step would be to optimize for inference. This is where you can take advantage of Torch Tensor RT. This is the other library that I mentioned that I would talk about. And it's basically a powerful tool from NVIDIA that optimizes PyTorch code to run efficiently on your NVIDIA GPU using Tensor RT. In this case, you can take advantage of it and this will basically ensure that there's efficient inference on your GPUs. You can experiment with the different optimization techniques that they have provided, as well as the settings to achieve the best performance for your large language model. They also have a repo specifically for Torch Tensor RT, which will showcase how you can build the Docker container for it and how you can run the inference for your large language model. After you have optimized your large language model for inference, you can then incorporate it into your application. And you can actually do it quite easily by using Python or C++ runtimes that have been provided by Tensor RT's large language model library. It's quite easy to do so, and this will ensure that there is a seamless integration with your existing application frameworks. And this is gonna be quite good because it's gonna give you a smoother operation when you incorporate it with this new library. Now, I know this might seem kind of hard to comprehend, but it's actually not once you take a look at the documentation. You, in this case, this brag gap seems like it's kind of hard to develop, but it was something that was developed quite easily with the Tensor RT LM library. You just had to create it by integrating various components. In this case, you had to use the Llama to 13 billion parameter model, which was designed as the large language model. To be used in this case, they used the Tensor RT library and they employed it to optimize the inference for the NVIDIA GPUs. And they also used the vector search library that was incorporated for efficient data retrieval. All these different components were put together to create this RAG app. And you might think that it's kind of hard, but it's actually not with the library that has been provided. It's just a matter of connecting these dots and building this application with logic afterwards. And if you need help with it, there is a documentation which will showcase how you can use the Tensor RT LM library, showcases various components to it. It showcases how you can get started, the best practices, as well as creating different things based off of it. There's also a blog post that NVIDIA provides, which focuses on different things related to the Tensor RT library. It focuses on how you can get started, how you can install it, and there's many beginner guides. And I'll also leave this link in the description below, but you can get a gist that this is an amazing tool that will help you with many 
different use cases. It's a great tool for building different applications with large language models. And it's also for efficiency as you can use this for inference. And in this case, you're able to accelerate the inference up to six times faster in PyTorch with the Torch Tensor RT library. There's many different use cases. So I'll leave all these links in the description below as many people haven't really heard of these things before. And I thought a video on this would definitely put a lot of spotlight on it. But with that thought, guys, I hope you got some sort of value out of today's video on these different libraries. Now, it would mean the world to me if you guys can go take a look at the Patreon page. This is a great way for you to access private subscriptions completely for free on our Discord. Make sure you take a look at the Twitter page. This is also a great tool for staying up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.